There really is nothing basic about electrical, wouldn't you agree? I think putting the term basic electrical um, is probably the wrong term. <laughs> Everything that we do revolves around um, these concepts and, and there's really nothing basic about it. So we look at the circuit, I see a ground over here. What does that mean about the internal part of the engine computer? On this design, this would be a power side switched circuit. That transistor, which is what that is, that little symbol, that turns on power, sends power this direction to the relay coil to make the magnetic field on the General Motors fuel pump relay circuits. Everybody comfortable so far? So pretty basic, right? Um, what would the voltage be in this circuit with the transistor off? With that base circuit being turned off, we'd have 12 here. It would not extend through. It would be blocked. So we'd have zero on this side. Ignore this little symbol right here right now. That's our bias voltage. We're going to be talking about that. That's the whole point of this subject. Um, but we would see zero. Would everyone agree that would be zero volts? If there's zero there, the fuel pump's not running. If there's zero there, the magnetic field's not being energized. And uh, pretty standard circuit, okay? I want the pump to run. Computer turns the base of the transistor on, which allows that 12 volt to extend through. This changes to 12. We now have current flow through the winding, so it makes a magnetic field, closes this switch, and then the heavy load side runs the pump. There's your circuit. I have the relay plugged in down here and I'm hitting that pin. I'm, I'm hitting this pin. I took like a little T pin in there and I'm kind of touching that and I have my meter connected like that and I have just what we just talked about. On that pin, circuit off, right? Relay plugged in, circuit off voltage. Is that what we would all expect to see? Computer's not turning the circuit on, good. Next image, relay unplugged, same pin circuits off this would be the first time you see this would be a wtf moment that circuits off what is this 12 volts we said 12 volts is circuit on 12 volts make a magnetic field all i did i did nothing else the key is on i just taken a measurement with the relay plugged in and the relay unplugged so let's talk about this 12, right? Here it is again. I'm not cranking, keys on, relays out. I'm reading this 12 volts. What is this? And my question to you guys is, will it light a test light? What do you think? No. It's, who said no? Of course it's not going to, because this is a bias voltage, but at face value, wouldn't we all say yes? I would expect this 12 volts to light a test light, a 12 volt test light, it absolutely should. So I'm going to show you, I think in the next image, I'm just touching a test light on there. I didn't do anything else other than put a test light on that pin connected to ground. Notice the test light did not light. And what happened to my voltage? This is weird, isn't it? I think this is worth you guys being in here for. What do you think so far? This is different than things, than the way things normally operate. And there's a point to this bias voltage too, which is going to be, you guys missed the first part of the lesson. Wouldn't you say some of the stuff we covered in the um, substituted values and circuit integrity testing involve around accuracy and speed? This is another piece that's going to provide accuracy and speed when it comes to open and short circuit testing. If you understand this bias voltage and how to use it. So that's the whole point of this lesson. It isn't just to throw you off and show you this weird variable. It's to teach you about the variable and then we'll start using it for our advantage.